welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing a brown airbrush cat eye with a little bit of black uh, for a cat eye look at the end. And I'm going to show you how I do that. As you can see, I'm using my stencil. I will list all my colors and tools down below, so don't worry. I just want to speed this video up so it wasn't too slow for you. I'm using my stencil and filling the whole lid with a medium brown. It's a nice warm tone on me. I always put a base first and I put my 117 soft glow before I did this. I feel like it helps the color pop and hold and I just got into that habit from using regular makeup. Um, so I hope you find this useful. So now I'm going to add in a darker brown on the edges, and I use maybe one to two drops when I do my eyes. Um, I find I don't need a ton, so I'm very using very little and being very careful with the lever on that gun. If you're new to airbrush, this is the uh, rechargeable to-go gun, and it doesn't have all the speed settings. But I love this gun because I find it pushes out the color really well, it's portable, rechargeable, and I use it on my clients as well as myself when I'm doing photo shoots, so I love it. Um, so back to the video, I'm just doing the edges in a brown, a dark brown, and you're almost making like a triangle right on the end, and going up a little bit, a little higher, and then winging it out. Now I love a, a winged out look. This specifically is how I do my cat eye without drawing it with a liquid liner. I will be using a liquid liner to do the inner corners, and that's just my preference. Yes, you can do it with airbrush, but today I decided to do it this way to show you. Um, and I'll be listing that product down below as well. But um, I love the winged out look of the cat eye. I wanted to do it with a brown, but I love the ombre, so the gradation of that look. So I, it's almost like you're covering the lid and then doing a triangle with a darker color. Now with the jet black, I'm going in and doing a thin line and going just up into that brown, but I'm not doing covering it. So that way you see the gradation of the colors, and I feel that brings more depth into the eye for photography or day to day, and it just pulls you in. So I love that look, and you can do this darker light. Um, and as you can see, it really made the eye pop. And you don't have to have black hair to use black on the edges. This is just how I'm doing my cat eye. I love that retro look, but I love bringing it into the modern world. So as you can see, I take my black towel I keep in my lap, and I wipe that stencil religiously. I love to keep my equipment clean because I just can't afford to get things clogged up or all over me or anyone else. So once again, you can see that I've got a gradation of the warm brown, the dark brown, and the black and I'm just continuing to clean out my gun there. But um, it's really helpful to have a towel in your lap, especially a black one, I find, because um, I do use a lot of black makeup just because I have darker hair. But I like to wipe everything and clean it in my lap, and that way it's done. I also have a glass jar that I use. Um, if you're familiar with Dine Air products, you'll know that you can spray in your extra airbrush into that. But it's whatever I feel like using at the time. Today, I, um, it's quite early in the morning, and I wanted to do this cat eye to show you how I do it. So I have no other makeup on. I have a little bit of foundation, a little bit of blush, but I will be going over that just to even it out a little bit. So, um, And I will be using a false lash as well to bring out the eye, but I'll show you all that in just a second. So back again, there's the liquid liner. I'm just doing the corner and running a line. And I find that it's like two seconds, super easy to do. And some days I like to do it this way, and some days I like to airbrush it. So it's totally your preference, but I find I love the richness of the black liner. As well, I like to put that on first before I do my lash, and I'm using a fuller lash. I found these on eBay. It was a great find, and I love these for photos or for a dramatic look. And as you can see, it kind of made the eye pop. And we're starting to see that uniform look of the black with the lash, the liner, and the airbrush. Now I'm using Duo Glue, and once again I'll list everything I use down below, and just uh, popping that in there. I will go in with some mascara and seal my fake lashes to my real ones and go down below, but today I'm kind of doing a retro look where I'm just keeping the look up top on the lid, and here we go. So I hope you can see what I've done, and I added a red lip, I hope you like it. And I've gone in and just kind of brought out the ends of my eyes. It's a nice, simple look for day to day, or even if you want to make it darker for a nighttime look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for joining me. Bye, guys.